Hello and welcome to Reaching Dream Fulfillment. In this video I'm going to go over my plan basically of where it is to achieve my goals in the current environment which we all know is very different because we're in lockdown blah 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 trying to stay safe from the disease but nevertheless let's see what my plans are for the last week of the first quarter of the year the first quarter of the year you can divide the year into quarters four times three is 12 right right so therefore the first quarter ends march 31st of this year and it's march 23rd and how many people have already screwed up their uh, new year's resolutions well most people because it's like <laughs> i feel like today and then it's pretty much over Consistency is the winner of the game. But nevertheless, I'm not going to talk about New Year's resolutions now because mine didn't exist either. If you didn't have any, I didn't have any either. Why? Well, I'm in a different place because I set all my goals to my birthday. So I've been working on whatever I'm working on based on my new year, which is my birthday. So... That's pretty cool, a little different, because I own it, because I created it. I'm not following the herd, go, ah, New Year's resolution is January 1st, no. Set it. The best time is right now. Mm -hmm. If you haven't, thank you. But nevertheless, let's look over here, over here, to, where is it, right here. Wait, strategy conference, there we go. All right, let's go to the... Top strategy conference is basically me planning and consistently planning. And now that I have more time on my hand due to uh, where I work has uh, shut down until further notice, but I'm still getting paid. But nevertheless, strategy conference 323 uh, 2020 first quarter ends next Tuesday, which is March 31st. I already said that. OK, so this is basically what I'm doing every day. And what I'm trying to accomplish, the first set, so this will be habits of that I do every day. Some will end when I achieve certain things. So let's see, very structured. Um, morning ritual, uh, I'll start off waking up in the morning, playing the turn of a war game, World War II, I'm um, the allies. It's more kind of like a turn-based game. It's not about graphics. It's about strategy. I'm the Allies in World War II. Incredibly tough game. But nevertheless, after this, I will check Bumble, which is really Bubble Biz. Uh, it can be for dating, but mine is for networking, trying to find people to interview for this YouTube channel, trying to make connections, trying to learn from our people that are have very uns um, uh, big goals and are trying to get into business or are check dating sites uh, right now that's something good to get into in the respect i normally won't recommend this but now it's a different game people are lonely um and instead of having dates you can do zoom and have zoom dates but i already talk about um in my video called Coronavirus Dating Revised, you, if you want to get the recommendation on what I think about dating right now, go ahead and look at that. Uh, after this, I will eat and take pills. And then after this, I will play straight pool in the garage behind me. And it's a bar table that I own. And at, once I miss 12 times, I quit. Then I read two hours right now, The Art of War. A lot of people that are in the business uh, read that for strategy. Read Art of War, one hour, in the new book about getting out of your comfort zone once it arrives. And there's something I'm going to do with that book. But there's, I have a plan for everything. So everything I do has a long range plan. Otherwise, I'm not touching it. After this, I will meditate. Uh, when you're isolated, it's good to keep your. Uh, spirits high so meditation um, is very very powerful I could do yeah I will I'll do a YouTube video about meditation tomorrow there boom idea and I'll give you certain things I've tried and certain things that worked for me etc 
after this, uh, I do gardening in the backyard for one hour until I achieve the backyard I want at the moment. Then I will garden in the front yard one hour until I achieve the garden that I want. After this, I organize my room one hour. So, you know, with all this time on your hands and you're supposed to be on lockdown, are you being safe? I hope so. But nevertheless, after this, I record uh, two YouTube videos. And then on Mondays, I have to record a video for London Real. Um, London Real Tribe, actually. Tribe. London Real Tribe, it's on um, people that are really trying to push ahead and have big goals. And uh, we record, a, we have a Monday challenge. So this week, actually, they want us to talk about, make a video and you talk about meditation. Well, I'm going to, I'll do short whatever and then I'll make a better one for you guys. Whoa. And then on Wednesdays, we have a conference about the topic. This week is meditation. So it's on Zoom. One, two, three, about 12 people or whatever. And we talk about that particular topic. And we have turns. And we l learn from others. It's really cool. Uh, a lot of times I work and I can't do it. Uh, it's 11 o'clock uh, Pacific time. And if I'm working, pfft, that ain't happening. If I achieve my goals and create what I want, it will happen all the time. Yep, yep, yep. But anyways, um, Wednesday's London Real Conference, we talk about the topic, which will this week be about meditation. Oops. Monday's post of uh, a YouTube video on Facebook. And it's a video that I already have. Tuesday Thursday through Sunday, I post on Facebook journal entries from my Stoic Journal. Once a week... Uh, I have a YouTube vlog about my TED Talk journey. Cool, cool, cool. So, YouTube vlog. All right. Uh, all right. And then I've all done one. There's going to be a series of seven. And then I'm reading another book. And then I will be applying to go into a TED Talk. That goal could be slowed down. But I still have a reading and different things to do before I uh, apply for that. Uh, Come might help this write the speech too. Sundays, every Sunday, I'll make a video on YouTube about my journal entries once a week about my coronavirus uh, experiences. It's my coronavirus uh, journal. Uh, this, so I talk about my thoughts for the week on Sunday. I did that once. And take notes about an index funds from my notes from Money Master the Game from Project Life Mastery. You're like, what the heck are you thinking? Everybody's getting out of the stock market. Are you insane? Well, think of it this way. When, a ha when the prices of houses or pr prices of whatever go down, what happens? Um, people that feel like they can't afford it and stuff like that, they get into it. So... It's the same thing here. The prices go down. And then that's so good for the people. It's not good for the people who are in it. But if you're looking to get into the stock market and the prices are low, what happens? You buy it at this low price during these poopy times. And then you hold on to it. You play the long game. And then... When you get old or whatever, you sell it or you need the money. And you get a big profit because you bought it so low and you sell it when the economy is kicking butt. Uh, Some of you did this uh, during the Great Depression. This is what, from the book, Money, Master the Game, once again, you read for ideas, you read for motivation and ideas. And in Money Master the Game, what happens? He, there's somebody there. I forget the guy's name. There was the stock market crash of 1929. Should have heard of it. But if you haven't, eh, I'm not giving a lesson. But nevertheless, the stock market crashed. So the, um, the, how much the stocks cost uh, a share went way, way down. So somebody bought as much as he could for... The low price 
of several for a dollar. And then he held on to it and the economy, yes, will come back. People always make it when this happens like in 2008. This is the new normal. <gasps> but we always uh, come back in other parts of the world too, but nevertheless. So when it does get, did come back and was stronger than ever, and so he probably sold them around after World War II, I guess. I don't know. But nevertheless, he became a millionaire. And there weren't that many millionaire, as many millionaires back then because a million dollars back then was a lot of money. So there was no such thing as billionaires because there was not that many millionaires, blah, blah, blah. But nevertheless... So I'm going to take notes from that and try to get advice from a friend, but not sure how that's going to go. People kind of don't chat as much during this time, which is fine. Uh, update my ad about resumes and cover letters online. And when I'm updating my ad, what am I doing? Resumes and cover letters, uh, I update it by uh, advertising that I will help people with resumes and cover letters over Zoom. And they can, I believe, yeah, I could tell them what I'm typing and all that sort of stuff. And they can see me and ask questions because uh, it's a program and I fill in the information and give them advice and tell them how it should, the basic guidelines. And then I could do that with cover letters. So there you go. So we're not meeting in person, finding the, uh, following, there we go, following the coronavirus advice, and then I, the person will pay me through PayPal. So there's no um, contact of germs and all that stuff. Uh, update uh, ad about life coaching online. So I've already done this uh, for tutoring for students where I will once again tutor them like this and then I and I did do this last week updated the ad so tutoring like like this on zoom and then the PayPal thing so I'll see how that works so I'm going to do it with these other things that I'm already doing to try to adapt to the changing conditions and that's what people that kick butt when conditions get tougher they figure out a way to accomplish what they uh, want to. There's always a way. Uh, okay, update ad about life coaching. Okay, that's fine. Improve my clarity game for life coaching. So basically, there's a site called Clarity where you could give advice. To